Welcome to another edition of What in the Week. I'm Nikki Woods. Now, it's been a great week for Oprah Winfrey and OWN, but it hasn't been all sunshine and roses for the media phenom since launching her very own network. I think if I were to think of, uh, uh, you know, good times and bad times and uh, the roller coaster of life, I would say that certainly... I can't, I don't know of a worse week of my entire life. Oprah was describing the period when it seemed like everyone was predicting Owen's demise. 15 months after Owen's heralded debut, headlines around the country warn that Winfrey's daring TV adventure is in trouble. So how did the number one woman in TV end up like this? But thanks mostly to her collaboration with television stage and movie director Tyler Perry, the Own Network is expected to turn a profit six months sooner than expected. Congratulations, Oprah. And Tyler, Gail, you better watch out. This might have elevated TP to BFF status. Now, whether you're a teenage girl or a woman in the dating world, the proliferation of porn on the Internet is changing the game. An Indiana University study cites men's sexual appetites as changing. Should we women try to keep up? And what does that mean to our standards of morality? Get my thoughts when you read my blog, Sex and the Grown and Sexy Mom, on BlackAmericaWeb.com. Coming up, Canadian Arnez J. But first, if you followed the rules, gone to school, gotten a job in your field, and still find yourself wanting more, you are so not alone. Mama's Gone Wild co-host Mary Boyce and I talked to author and inspirational tweeter Stacy Speller about finding our passion in unexpected ways. Well, the first thing you have to do is step away, and and you know I tweet about this a lot, is stepping away from the opinions because we're so rooted in opinion and what people think and if you step away from that that is your first thing you have to truly go with what's in your heart not with the expectation of everyone else when I decided I was going to do what I'm doing now I mean even my dad who spent tons of money on my education said okay so all this money on education and you're going to go talk what you were doing long before you were educated <laughs> um, but I did not let that derail me. You can follow Stacy Speller on Twitter at speak to Stacy. Have you ever had one of these days? Well, it probably won't top comedian Arnez J. And then I go to the airport. I go to the airport. They want to check all my luggage. I say, wait a minute, that ain't my luggage right there. And this is not the day. Yeah, and, and this is not the day. And it was an African that was uh, like, well, we are going to check your luggage. We know that belongs to you. We saw you put it on. I said, you the monkey lie. I said, you, the monkey lie. I said, you know what? Next time, yeah. Next time, next time, I'm going to come up here wearing a T-shirt and some thongs. And I'm going to dare one of y'all to strip search me. I'm going to dare you. I'm a matter of fact, I'm going to make sure you strip search me. I'm going get the and get the Vaseline while you're doing it. Because I need you. I'm a little ashy on my backside. So get the Vaseline. I'm so mad right now. Y'all don't even understand. I'm laughing, but I'm angry. I'm so angry right now. I, 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 the Crips and the Blood couldn't handle me right now. Look for RNSJ at a comedy club near you. Now, most of us with a message or product know we need social media to get it out there. But if you just don't know where to start, here's the Global Visibility Tip of the Week. Make sure you've clearly identified your business goals and the kinds of outcomes that can be easily measured. For example, your goal might be to drive more people to your website. It won't take you long to determine whether your blog, LinkedIn, or your Facebook page is doing the trick. For all three steps to automating your social media, go to NikkiWoodsMedia.com. Now, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is touring the country with the first African-American and the youngest ringmaster, Jonathan Lee Iverson. Here's just a taste. <laughs> Go check them out in a city near you and don't miss the dragons. My boys love them and your kids or the kid in you will too. And finally, with temperatures reaching record highs all over the country, Belle, a three-week-old baby elephant in hot, hot Fort Worth, Texas, had the right idea. It just took her a minute to execute it. So 
There are so many life lessons to be learned from that video. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on What in the Week. I'm Nikki Woods. Ow. What in the Week.